In this lecture, you will learn how to integrate advertising networks within your game or your app for TV. Now, we're going to use AppLovin as the main SDK because it's one of the first ones to ever be present for the TV OS. So please use this URL and use it to go to, um, to uh, the right address to download the source code or also called the SDK, the Software Development Kit. So I'm going to use Google Chrome and I'm just going to paste it here and it's going to ask you to sign in. Now, if you do not have an account, just sign up. It really takes only a couple of minutes asking you a few questions. All right. Now that you're logged in, just open a new tab and paste it again, because you need to be logged in to be able to see it. All right. I know it's kind of a bug, but that's how it is. And click right here, download SDK. All right. Once you have the SDK, just look for it and unzip it. All right, now we're going to integrate it in the next lecture. Once you've downloaded the AppLovin SDK, double click on your project so that it opens in Xcode and go to Groups and Files. And right here, under the main project, here or there it's fine, but I'm going to put it right here, just go to the Finder, look for the uh, file you just downloaded, the one the, the folder one and drag and drop this inside of the project. You should see a plus sign appearing. Let it go and then do copy items if needed and only copy to the Apple TV. All right, this one right here. Remove this one because we only want that for the Apple TV one and click on finish. All right, now next thing you want to do is go to the Tic Tac Toe Rapid the project file and go to the info tab. That's exactly where we are right here. And we're going to add a new key. Now, the exact key name is located right there. It's called the AppLovin SDK. So if you keep going where you downloaded the source code, you should see your AppLovin SDK. All right. So look for it. And we're going to copy this here. So I'm just going to copy that. Now, I'm going to go to Xcode and I'm going to click on plus right here. So look on any entries and click on the plus sign that appears right here. All right. And now, there we go. I'm going to paste what I just added, AppLovin SDK, and that's going to be a string. Perfect. And I'm going to paste the value that I have right here. Now, you don't have the same value, and that's how you get paid using this value. So I'm going to copy and paste it right here. All right. So now that we've done that, we're going to add the framework that are going to be used. You have to link with all these frameworks. So let's do that right now. We're going to the tic-tac-toe rapid and go to the build phase. Once you're there, click on link binary with files and we're going to click on plus. Make sure you're not tic-tac-toe Apple TV, okay? So you have to be on the Apple TV target. And we're going to add, add support. Okay, AV Foundation. Click on plus, AV Foundation. Click on plus again. Core graphics. Then click on plus, core media, click on plus again, store kit, click on plus, system configuration framework, and last one, the UI kit. All right. Okay, so we've added all the frameworks that we needed, and now we need to write some code. And we're going to do this in the next lecture. In this lecture, we're going to work on the code to see ads um, within our game. So first of all, let's locate the delegate file, the appdelegate.h. Now, you may have two of them. You may have one for the iPhone version, the iOS version, and one for the tvOS. So make sure you're under the, the Apple TV target. And here is my m and h file. So I'm going to go in my appdelegate.m file, and I'm going to go back to the documentation, and I'm just going to copy this import statement. So I'm just importing the logic code from the framework. And then I'm going to do initialize SDK. But this thing needs to go inside of the application did finish launching right here. You see this uh, method um, did finish launching with option. So just press enter after the uh, comment line and paste it right here. All right. Now, next thing you want to do is add the Xcode flag, the object, object C flag whenever this runs. So Let's do that right now. 
we're gonna go to the build settings right here click here on the, on the main project click on tic tac to apple tv build settings and right here in the search type other linker flags and right here just add a plus and we're gonna add dash obj c now make sure that it's written with an uppercase o and an uppercase c okay all right and there we go we have it now that we have this we're gonna check if that works so you can straight uh, check if it's ready to, to play because sometimes you know to load ads it takes time so especially when you're using slow uh, slow internet connection your users may take some time to uh, to load now it's an Apple TV so it should be quicker right so we're just gonna copy this code I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste this in the action so look for the yt view controller dot M and we're gonna paste the code as a new function so go all the way down and we're gonna create a new action all right, I'm going to call this action void launch add. And right here, I'm just going to paste the code right here. I'm going to copy this and paste it inside of it. All right, so that's what you want. Now it's complaining that we don't have the AL interstitial add. That's not a problem. Just copy this, go all the way up top, and under the import, just do import paste that dot h. All right, so we're importing the header file. All right, now let's build this product build and see if we have any errors or not. Build succeeded. All right, now we need to call the launch ad. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to launch it on the view did load or in the reset game. So look for reset game. Okay, so the reset game is right here. As soon as you reset the game, I want to call the launch ad so self launch ad now you probably don't want to launch the ad every game you want to launch it every three or five games but it's just to test okay so i'm just going to press play now and see this in action all right see you guys in the next lecture all right so now we're going to test the ad by clicking on the new game i'm going to use the apple tv remote to get there and click on new game and that should play an ad let's see Right now it says fail to open, so there's no ad. I'm going to click on new game again till it loads. And there we go. So this is a live ad that we got from Uploving SDK. It's fully integrated. So now you are ready to upload this game to the Apple TV iTunes App Store. Now, if you want to get out of this ad, you'll have to find which keys to press. So it's actually pretty simple. You'll have to click on the menu. That's the trick. All right. 